Hey guys, welcome back. It is now part six of our Klingon cruiser build. Uh, as you can see, I put some gloss coat on here. It's nice and glossy. Do protect my paint job that I did, my base coat I did last week. And we are moving on to the detail painting. This is the detail painting week. Hopefully just week and not weeks. Because uh, you can get really detailed with this. I'm going to primarily use two other greens, a dark phalo green and a light mint green, and a beige and a brown. Some of these uh, raised panels here are dark, some of them are light, some of the recesses are light. Same thing on the bottom. And you can see my, I've been testing weathering. I just did a little test weathering just to see what it did. And it kind of makes those panels pop out. You can kind of see it on this side. And uh, the beige, this section is beige here. Some of the rear section, actually right here, is beige. Some beige up in here, uh, beige around this thing here on the bottom, and there's also uh, a darker brown. Same thing with these, some of these panels up here, so these details are beige and brown. Um, I need to redo my black lines up here. I need to redo my black lines along the edge and side of the bulb. These raised panels are actually a mint green. Difficult to see in the screenshots. Also, the simple fact that they used two models that were painted completely differently uh, for the motion picture. So, um, there's that. Uh, the, the one that was, uh, there's one that's got this beautiful paint job that's very difficult to do in this scale, but I'm going to try to emulate that. I'm kind of going for a mixture in between the one they used for the motion picture, which wasn't as heavily detailed as far as the paint goes, and the one that I've seen uh, some screenshots of that was just very, very detailed. We're, we're going to kind of go for a mix of that. I also got my base completed this weekend, or at least wired up. I got my flipper switch. I got my little rat tail here. All that wired in here. Uh, it doesn't matter that these are the same color. The, this one to go into the switch is the lead, and this one is the uh, ground, obviously. And this is a nice little flipper switch that I paid a dollar for at the dollar store. It came with a flashlight. So not only did I get a switch, but I got a flashlight. And within the flashlight, well, first off, it's a flashlight. So if I want to scratch build something that looks like this, I could, flash, I could use that. Uh, I got a nice reflective curved surface to use for something. Uh, you could probably use this for a uh, deflector dish if you wanted to uh, be very reflective. Put a little bulb in there or a bassard collector. I have to buy another one for the other one, but there's that. I have a nice circular transparency I could use for something. Not sure what. I also have a battery pack that takes AAA batteries. And uh, this is the lead and this is the ground side, but if uh, I need a battery pack for a model, I got that. And then I got a very, very bright LED. As you can see right here, it's got a resistor, but uh, I'm not even sure what it is. But yeah, this is the uh, LED in here. So, all of that, all that nifty stuff, this, this, my flipper switch, right here, this, and this for a buck. Uh, kind of scrounging, when you can, when you scrounge, you can find some interesting things at the dollar store. I also got some emery boards at the dollar store. Oh, where are they? They're right here. Yeah. Nice emery boards. One dollar for a bunch of emery boards. Nineteen of them. Or twelve. Sorry, twelve. That's twelve. Not nineteen. But yeah, I got twelve emery boards of varying sides. So, very nice. So, we are going to start masking. I'm going to start with the dark color, the dark phalo, and then I'm going to move to the light. And then I'm going to move to the uh, browns and the tans, and we'll see how far we get, because this is a lot of masking. So, I'm going to start with that. I'll be right back. Hey guys, well, that uh, that's the uh, top masking there. That took about five hours. So all everything that you see here is going to be the darker green color. And then I'll go back in after this is done with the lighter green colors. But yeah, this uh, this took a while. So, I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, as you can see, that turned out pretty well. I removed all my masks, now I'm waiting for this to uh, completely dry. 
and then I will be going over this with a coat of clear. After that, I will be uh, painting pretty much this whole entire thing top here with a light kind of lime green. And uh, I will wait for that to dry, and I will take some uh, some alcohol, and I'll be rubbing it the the light green off of various places and panels in here. And then I will go over that with another coat of clear, and we can start on our washes for the top. So I will be back when that is uh, underway. Well guys, there is the green. And I just took up all this off with some uh, Q-tips and some uh, alcohol. But yeah, all the green is off. Now all I have to do is spray this down with some clear. And then we're going to take the tape off the pylons. And we have some of this green color that goes on the pylons. I don't want to do the washes separate from the pylons because you'll have a uh, very specific line here where the wash won't look even. So I'm going to get this in clear and get this tape off. I'll be right back. Hey guys, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the top done here. I uh, did that all yesterday. And I got the, uh, the beige on there. Now, the colors are... Uh, very very light but our um, our four washes or three washes I'm going to do a black wash a brown wash uh, I'm going to do a yellow wash and maybe a dark green wash on this that will bring that the tone of those colors also there's a gloss coat on it so that's affecting the colors too but yeah once we get those uh, those washes on there it will not look like a neon mess so top is done and I'm going to be moving on to the bottom here. Mask a lot of that off. That hopefully will be easier. But yeah, that that took a while. So, uh, unfortunately, that's where we're going to leave it this week. Uh, next week, we should be doing the bottom. Uh, getting some work done on the neck and on the head here. And then moving on to our washes. So I want to thank everyone for watching. And you guys have a great day.